extension efforts over the past few years, we've had the opportunity to see different types as parts of field days and demonstrations, and we just want to share very quickly here a few differences in some of the, the types of hoop buildings that we've seen. This is actually one that was from Washington County in eastern Iowa that shows uh, the wooden bunk construction um, in uh, a, a typical hoop building. Sean, do you have anything else you want to say about this one? Yeah, this was an earlier version. I don't know if you'd even find one like this with the single pipe arches close together, uh, probably four foot spacing between those pipes. Uh, most of the companies now switch to trust arches and put them a lot farther apart. Uh, this is another one in Story County, uh, a little bit larger building with the, the steel uh, hoop construction. There's several of this. I'll ask Sean to comment on, on uh, this one as well uh, in, in terms of its construction and engineering. This is one that also has the Drover's Alley or the Cattle Alley in the back uh, to help facilitate cattle movement. And I think they just they added a, kind of a lean-to on the back side of this hoop to, to get the roof out over that drover's alley, kind of an interesting design. Again, another one. This is in Floyd County, and this I think this is your slide, Sean. Uh, yeah, I don't remember why I put it in there. Uh, just uh, uh, longer than some of them are, a fairly long, narrow building. Yeah. And a shot from uh, outside that building. Because the building was so long, they put gates in the middle of the feed bunk uh, so they didn't have to travel the whole 400 foot to get out of the building when they're taking bedding in, bringing manure cattle out. This is a different facility, correct? So this is, uh, this is a facility with three different uh, hoop buildings side by side, kind of an interesting uh, combination of the way these are put together. Now, the center building in this case has a, a feed alley running right down the middle of the building, so uh, two sets of feed bunk in there. And you look at that and say there's not possibly enough floor space in there. They've got all three buildings connected together with alleys, so the cattle can eat uh, in uh, either the center building or one of the two side buildings. Uh, the side buildings don't have feed bunk on both sides, just on one side of the building. Uh, interesting note about this one, though, is because the area in between the buildings where the buildings are connected is open to the cattle, uh, this actually isn't a confinement building by Iowa rules. This is an open feedlot with sheds, uh, so it falls under different environmental regulations because of that open pen space between the buildings. And this is another uh, building, uh, hoop building in uh, Story County, where basically this becomes an open lot with shelter much like the Iowa system, as, as uh, Robbie talked about, this is an open dirt lot where the hoop building is simply used as a, as a, a typical building for shelter for the ant, for the cattle. 